got my mojo working. And in Chicago, if you go out to see a blues band, I guarantee somebody's going to play this <laughs> before the night's gone over. And they're usually going to have you singing along with them. Say, got my mojo working, got my mojo working. And mojo, look it up. What is mojo? It means many things. So it's a good thing to have your mojo working. So what we're going to do is it's in the key of E. Muddy Waters uh, is the composer and the, the real classic, there's many great versions, but I'm going with the Muddy Waters from the 50s on Chess Records. And I'm also going to throw in a little bit of my Chicago modern approach because we have our own way of playing it here in Chicago. Chicago has its, even today, has its own approach to the blues, which I feel, in my opinion, from having traveled around the world, um, Chicago just gives birth to the most uh, and powerful, impactful blues musicians. They, 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 it's part of our culture. Um, it's a, it's the soundtrack to the city. I mean, we're very fortunate that all these years we've had these clubs to go to festivals where we, we hear great musicians all the time. We're very blessed with that. So we have our own little style of doing things. This is the bass line. I tend to play everything fast. I have the what am I doing? Well, I'm on the seventh fret of the A string or the fifth string. And I'm going right above it on the sixth string, seventh fret, fifth string, I mean fifth fret of the fifth string, back to the seventh fret of the fifth string. I'm damping a little bit with this part of my hand on the right hand. some flair, some groove. So that's the real basic part of it right there. So what did I do? I played what I showed you first, and then I went to the four chord, which is A. D string, 4th string, 7th fret, A string, 7th fret, 5th string, 5th fret of the 4th string or D string, back to the 7th fret of the D string. So it's right underneath it. That's the 1, 4, 4 chord or A. Then I just go up to the 9th fret. This is the 5th, the, the 5 chord. It's all right there. Then I'm doing the classic turnaround, it's called in the blues. Open, fourth fret, open string on the fifth string, first fret of the fifth string. Okay, so now what goes on top of that? kind of seventh chord, the flat seven. So we have the um, open E. We're just using, basically I don't play the sixth string, I just, uh, I mean the first string, I just use these five strings. So we have our ring finger, th or third finger on the seventh fret of the A or fifth string. Middle finger on six of the D or fourth string. I have my pinky on the 7th fret of the G or 3rd string, 1st finger on the 5th fret of the B or 2nd string. Typical A7 chord, I don't have to break it down to you or not, but I'm going to. Barring all 6 strings on the 5th fret. Then all, my ring finger or third finger is on the seventh fret of the A string or fifth string. I have my middle finger on the sixth fret of the third string or G. And I, there's that flatted seven, that real blues tone on the 
eighth fret of the B or second string. Well, I'm hitting the open E, there's a bass note. They hear the rhythm, that's the that's the between that bass line I first showed, which is dun 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 Dun, dun, dun. It's like an offbeat feel. That's the rhythm. That's the core of that song. Bum, 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 bum. That's what I'm playing. And the turn around. B seventh up here. Second fret of the fifth string. First fret of the fourth string. Second fret of the third string. What could you do in there? Lots of things. I'm going to focus on just the first position. So the intro. I kind of skipped the intro tonight. What did I do there? Well, this is a classic blues lick. And blues, you can use it in many things. So it is the second finger on the fourth fret of the third string. First finger on the third fret of the second string. Then the half bar on A, so that is the second fret of the third and second string. Then open, back again. Then I hit second fret of the D string, which is E. play it if you have no feel you want feel what is feel syncopation so there you go we're going to talk about syncopation in the lessons to come how important that is giving a feel to what you do. That's what's going to set you apart from other musicians. That's what the blues is about. Feel. And how do you get that feel? It's a combination of using that left hand, a little bounce sometimes, using that right hand, which we're going to talk about in the future. The right hand is what makes the music, believe it or not. And there's a lot of right hand techniques we can use in rhythm and lead playing. If you watch great players, watch their right hand as well. And also we're going to talk about having the strength in our fingers to accomplish clear notes but having a very very loose and light touch with the left and right hand we want everything loose and free i mean i asked um my friend and producer joe bonamassa we did a record together and i i love the way he plays and i'm like how do you get this tone because a lot of i'd say 99 percent of your tone is not your equipment not your guitar it's your hands and whatever guitar he picked up whatever amp he played he had this amazing sound and he says well it's in your hands and I go well what do you do he goes I play very lightly and loose on my guitar because I don't want to choke it I want it to breathe so I want you to keep that in mind so we have a tendency sometimes we get nervous or we or we feel like we have to grip the guitar really you know aggressively but you do need strong hands and fingers to get things done but once you get the strength by practicing a lot you have to remember to be loose and free with it. So there you go. We, we're doing that rhythm.